the research that we're doing right now in drones is it's kind of multifaceted. We do a handful of different things. It starts from the simplest where we just take a, a UAV and there's those systems that can carry things like a payload or a parachute system and so we use those as basically a cheap helicopter. So we can use that to carry up our systems and drop it and um, try in some sense to, to deliver goods to the right people on the ground and so we're kind of on the cutting edge of that. The big end goal is just trying to find a way to make an inexpensive parachute delivery system. So right now the way to do that is using a steerable parafoil. Um, those work very well but they are quite expensive which means that they are not typically used except in the most dire of circumstances. So what we're trying to do is make something that kind of bridges the gap between just a, a parachute falling in the sky and the expensive steerable system. So we're trying to make a low cost steering system. Uh, and the idea being that that can now be used for the, the defense, I mean it could be ammo supplies, medical supplies, food, whatever it might need to be, as well as humanitarian relief. So right now we're on a project where we're trying to work on creating a, a blood delivery system. So it would be a UAV based blood delivery that uses our parachute system to try to get it down to the right people on the ground. Uh, so this room is a little messy, uh, but that's because we have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of different programs and things we're trying to get ready all at once. I mean, we have um, some students that are laying up carbon fiber to try to make carbon fiber aircraft. We've got small drones that are around because we're going to teach a drone class on how to learn to fly. So we just have stuff kind of everywhere in order to do that. But it's also that when students are here a lot because they're here working and getting paid as either an undergrad or a graduate assistant, you want it to be a comfortable space so they kind of make it their house and just like most of us were when we were students, they're a little dirty. Yes, we get paid to do fun stuff um, and it's, everyone always stops by to talk because most of the time when you think about research being done, it's people in lab coats in a lab and we're outside doing stuff and crashing things often, which is like, pretty exciting.